state. But Brian, you and I are talking, and it sounds like the track is a little uncertain right now. So mm -hmm. it's it's almost like Florida, the Gulf, everyone just needs to be on alert. Yeah, we're at that time where we're getting past the peak of hurricane season. It's been relatively quiet so far, but this is where the guard needs to be up for mm -hmm. anybody living in the Gulf and the East Coast included. Although we've started to see that track of Ian shift west gradually throughout the day today, there is some growing concern for the track as we head into early next week. We'll talk about that in just a second. Here's the latest advisory as of 5 p.m. from the National Hurricane Center. Still, Ian has winds of 45 miles an hour, gusting upwards of 60 miles an hour. There's that center of circulation, a much better presentation on the satellite image working through the afternoon, but still moving to the west at about 16 miles an hour. The latest track pulls that center of circulation off to the northwest tonight and into tomorrow and begins to rapidly intensify into a strong tropical storm with 70 mile an hour winds by tomorrow at 2 o'clock into the afternoon and then quickly to a category 3 major hurricane with winds of 110 miles an hour by Monday afternoon. This latest shift in the track west would have that center of circulation clipping the western tip of Cuba before moving into the Gulf of Mexico and becoming a category 4 hurricane late Tuesday afternoon all the way through Wednesday with winds of 130 miles an hour. Now some of the latest forecast models have an upper level disturbance or a trough picking up Ian and moving it toward the Big Bend of Florida as a category 2 hurricane weakening it a little bit with winds of 105 miles an hour by Thursday afternoon. Now the one concern I have with this track though is some of the models are not handling these steering currents into the Gulf of Mexico very well as we go into next week. So we're going to have to watch this one very quickly because I would not be surprised to see a possible westward track shift on Ian as we go through the next little bit. In addition to that category four speed could be too low. We could see numbers higher than this with some of the models showing even more rapid intensification as we go from Sunday and into early next week. Let's talk about